The NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup in store between the New Orleans Saints and... EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the Caesars Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the New Orleans Saints. The kicker for the Saints, Will Lutz, has it teed up, and here we go from New Orleans. Off of play action, here's Lance. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. But give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage on the right side and sent the tight end a few steps down the field and then angled him to the left on a crossing route. And he was able to get enough separation on this play to turn it into a nice game. Now left side on the swing pass. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. 
But I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Meanwhile, Lance's throw pulled in by Kittle. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. And Lance now to throw. The same target, same result. It's Kittle. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. A nice game there to his trusty tight end. And now it's got them thinking opening drive touchdown here as they get into the red zone. And in most cases with your tight end, you feel like you've got a mismatch no matter who's covering it. Is it a small cornerback? Is it a linebacker who may not run as well? In any event, whatever you see, you think that tight end can win that battle. On first and ten, here's Lance. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Well, they're not hiding who their central focus is on offense. Charles, he already now has four receptions here on this opening drive. And I know people who are watching the game are thinking, did they forget about him in the defensive game plan? But it's actually been the opposite. They're giving him a lot of attention, but he's been very creative and savvy in his route running and finding seams and openings in order to create these complete. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And the Saints are going to get the football here as they force the INT on the game's opening drive. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now... Pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. They start the drive on the ground, Kamara, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. To throw on second and six. Dalton. There's Chris Olave. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. So Dalton now. Alave over the middle. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look out. You've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. On second and goal, Dalton. Touchdown on Saints. Chris Olave from six yards away. And the Saints take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. 
personally for him a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You got a lot to handle in this one. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Here's a second and two now from the 33. A give running left, it's McCaffrey. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? And he's going to have a Niners first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run it and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Throwing his lance on third down. And the Saints pressure gets him. Right down for a sack. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. On fourth down, the Niners trot out Mitch Wisniewski to punt the football. Deontay Hardy deep for New Orleans. Taken in at the 11. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. This could end up being a pretty big drive. I mean, look, yes, it's early in this game, but they scored the touchdown, they got the stop, and now if they could get in the end zone here again, CD, they could grab an early stranglehold on this one. Yeah, they certainly can, and that's what you're looking for. Where's the advantage? Can you gain it? Can you press it? Now for them, finishing it off, because right now it's out there for them. They just gotta go seize it. Second down, and it's Kamara again. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And finally, they get him to the ground, but it's all the way down at the Niners' 10-yard line. Again, it's Kamara. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Two yards that time, a stark contrast from the big chunk on the previous play. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. On 
on second down, Ingram. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Once you get into the red zone, space is at a premium for receivers to try and operate and shake themselves free. That one's incomplete. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. So on fourth down, on comes Saints kicker Will Lutz. From the left hash, a chip shot here. The kick by Lutz is good. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. the made field goal. Lutz to kick it away. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. Now a play fake. Lance. He finds Kittle going across the field. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. On play action, Lance. His throw incomplete. Well, the best don't mind making tough throws, but that was a real difficult one right there. Out of the pocket, trying to beat double coverage. More times than not, that's going to end up as an incomplete pass, if not worse. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This will be spotted just shy of midfield. A 59-yard attempt. The kick by Gold is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The 
Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And we'll see how much they want to push things, leading already here 10-3. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked by Tarverius Moore. And the 49ers will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. And that was one I kind of saw coming, Charge. had a free safety just hanging back there over the middle, waiting, and he saw that ball go in the air, and he jumped on it. And I don't know why the quarterback didn't see that. That was just your standard cover three, which means a free safety in the middle of the field, the two corners, and they divide the field in thirds. But when you have a free safety with range, like a good center fielder, he can go from side to side and make plays on the football as he did there. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And Lance going to throw. Finding Gray going across the field. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. So the penalty declined, and they will keep the yardage on the completion. And you could almost see him compartmentalize there throughout the route. Fought hard at the line of scrimmage, a lot of hand checking throughout the route. Great job staying focused on the football and pulling it in through the contact. McCaffrey following the penalty. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here's Lance to throw it. And it's caught. Touchdown 49ers. Christian McCaffrey as the first half is winding down. And the Niners have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Well, CD, you know he's got great options at wide receiver tight end, but there he looks to the backfield, and it results in a touchdown. I love how you laid that out. So many options. You maybe forget about some of the ones that you should be covering. And they made them pay with that one, didn't they? You forget about the guys in the backfield? They're eligible, too. And now this is right in Kyle Shanahan's wheelhouse. He'll go for two here. Hey, Paul Fury. McCaffrey, he'll try to run it in. And he will get into the end zone again. And he seems to have a nose for it as he gets both the touchdown and the two-point conversion. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. And the half will begin with a touchback. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. 
Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 43. Dalton's throw caught by Alave. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Kamara gets it again on second down. And they'll get him down right about the 20. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Andy Dalton. Got an open man. It's Alave. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the 9 to the 8. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short game. Second down and goal. Dalton got his tight end. That's complete. That's Johnson. Touchdown. Juwan Johnson from eight yards out. And the Saints have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. So now after the touchdown, Dalton will lead him up to go for two. And they'll turn to Kamara. And he's going to go down right at the line of scrimmage. The defense left him with nowhere to go. And the try for two is denied. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. set to get this drive underway and yeah, they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half i think the guys right now as they go out on offense they're zeroing in on one big key they don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now the intent still the same and what they plan to do on offense ball on the 30 they'll come up with a second and five Throwing now is Lance. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Give the sack to David Onyemata, the product of Nigeria by way of Canada. Tell you what, he did not have much time there to stay in the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly? Meaning the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them. They were on him in a hurry. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. And that's a play to applaud because these RPOs, things happen so quickly. And that ball is out of the quarterback's hands fast. He read it and reacted and was there to hit him as the ball arrived at the receiver. Big time read, big time play. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. 
maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Kamara up the middle. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They run it again with Kamara. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. 117 yards rushing now for Kamara. It's a first down. Throwing. Dalton. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Johnson. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Pounded up the middle with Kamara. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now a second down and six. Here's Dalton. The pass caught by Alave. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now Dalton. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Partner, for once in my life, I'll be succinct. In a one-possession game, every single stop like that could be a difference maker. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. And Dalton to throw. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And the Niners are right back in this football game. A few things better than a big man interception. You can always tell right when they get the football, there's that level of excitement and nervousness and also like, what the heck do I do with this thing? <laughs> and you say, no better sight? Well, not for the quarterback to just throw it. It's bad enough to throw a pick, but to throw one to the big guy? But you're right about that. Now what do I do with it? But what's fun about it is you know they're going to be in the film room after this ball game, tell all their teammates, maybe I should shift over to offense. I've got skills. What do you think? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I always find myself cheering for them after they intercept it. Unfortunately here, he couldn't make it into the end zone. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Back to the ground on first. It's McCaffrey, and he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their own little, little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Taken down by Pete Warner. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Back to throw. Lance. This throw incomplete. Nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. The third down coming up. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 22-yard line. 18 yards, a big pickup there on third down. Ultra, 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 go ultra. 
Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. On second and seven, Lance. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Operating from the gun, Lance. Open man is IU complete. And the Niners are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and goal with this game still hanging in the balance. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And Brandon, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. the goal line into the end zone touchdown 49ers a touchdown run there from a yard out and the 49ers have taken a fourth quarter lead and touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them right way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating and part one is done but now on the sideline you can already see them scrambling down there they're getting those defensive guys ready yes you have to get those guys ready and you also have to talk to your special teams guys make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well and he'll get into the end zone so now a field goal would only tie as they've up their lead to three after the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly intercept. And the comeback may stall out. It's intercepted. Picked off by the former first-rounder, Jimmy Ward. And the 49ers are going to take possession of the football. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it. And that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill. The offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do, but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. Brought down at the 20. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? You just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. A 
a man who played collegiately here in Louisiana, Elijah Mitchell. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. But well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Right back to Mitchell on second down. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. Did my eyes deceive me? Or was that an eye formation play that was just run there for a touchdown? Little old school eye. How about that? Was that a fullback, tailback, running it into the end zone? Well, that's what that fullback's for, right? That's why you use that. Let him pave the way. Oh, without a doubt. He's an extra blocker, and he did his job well on that play. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a... Look at this! Middle of the field, a breakaway! And he takes this one into the end zone, and all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, man, can you have strung that out just a few <laughs> plays? Give us a break. Back out there. Hey, man, get that water break and get on out there and play. And this one travels out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. Down to a knee for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice. Inside of 10 seconds, eight to be precise. We get whistles and a timeout on the field. And they take a knee. That was an excellent come from behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small. They obviously did not give up on that one. And in the end, how about that come from behind victory? They'll cherish this one for a while. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. Till next time, we say so long from the Bayou.